All right, this video is going to be short, it's going to be sweet, but very valuable to you as a cryptocurrency investor. I think you're going to like it because today I want to share with you a major announcement that just recently came out of Project Cardano, and that is uh, Icarus. I'm going to tell you what Icarus is and how this applies to the overall big picture of Cardano and cryptocurrency as a whole. But before we even get into the details on that, let me remind you how we got here. Let's put things in a little bit of perspective, because I'm sure you recall it wasn't but just a few weeks ago that uh, this man right here, his name is Charles Hoskinson. He's the founder and CEO of Cardano. I'm sure you remember that he was invited to Google headquarters to meet the leadership team and give a presentation to them on how exactly Cardano's blockchain works. Huge news at the time, I'm sure you recall, a momentous meeting between the current technology leaders and the up-and-coming technology leaders. And, of course, many rumors circulated about a possible Google-Cardano partnership. Everybody wanted to know, is Google investing in Cardano? Is Google going to buy out Cardano? What are the details? Many thought it could only be positive, and the whole crypto community was clamoring to know. And now we do. Just a few short weeks later, we now know what the Google Cardano meeting was mainly about. And in today's video, I want to share with you the exact details on this major announcement. And I'm going to tell you what exactly Project Icarus is and what does it mean for the future of Cardano and the future of cryptocurrency. I think you're going to find a lot of value in today's video. But real quick, welcome back everyone to Altcoin Daily where you subscribe for daily videos on everything going on in the cryptocurrency space. Of course, you're making your own decisions, but I think our channel right here is a great channel to be a part of, where it doesn't matter if it's Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Halloween, Christmas, you know you're going to find a video here at Altcoin Daily, keeping you as informed as possible on the current crypto climate. And uh, yeah, I guess the goal is to become smarter, more disciplined investors, because as I say all the time, you know, the crypto market, it's still very young. I know there's going to be a lot of people in the next coming years making significant money in the cryptocurrency space. And I truly believe there's no reason why you and me can't be two of them, but we need to be smart. We need to be disciplined. So yeah, that's it, guys. And if and when you find value in today's video, we're still a small channel, but we're growing quickly. Do us a favor hit the like button. It's a small thing you can do that really does help us out. And I think this video is going to be chalked full of value. So let's get into it. Charles Hoskinson, August 15th, proudly announced the launch of Icarus. But what exactly is Icarus? Well, Icarus, it's a white label wallet that you will be able to use to store and transact your ADA. ADA is the crypto that Cardano uses. Well, wait a second. Cardano, it's already got a wallet. They have Daedalus. Daedalus is their wallet. What's different about the new one? What's different about Icarus? Icarus, it's more user-friendly, it's faster, it's easier to use, but more than that, the biggest selling point is that Icarus will be available as a Google Chrome extension. And that's not even to suggest that it's going to be limited to Chrome because it can easily be ported to other platforms such as Firefox or other browsers. And even beyond that, Icarus will be available as a mobile application, so you will be able to have a, a mobile way to store and transact your ADA. So, obviously, this is a huge step forward. If you want to see what they say about Icarus real quick, on their website, they say, Cardano Wallet Reference Implementation. IOHK will release Icarus, a reference implementation for a lightweight wallet which will enable developers to create their own wallet for Cardano. Icarus runs in a browser as a Google Chrome extension and offers an easy to use alternative to Daedalus. This wallet does not need to download and validate a copy of the Cardano blockchain. Instead, it uses a copy of the blockchain on a server, so it offers advantages in terms of speed of use. Icarus is secure, private keys are encrypted on the user's machine and not shared with servers. Releasing the source code will mean the community can develop wallets and integrate with Cardano as required, and Cardano moves further towards decentralization. So let's get more into the details, shall we? Uh, like, like they said, Icarus is a full running wallet in Google Chrome, and anything that you can do on the current wallet, Daedalus, you're going to be able to do with Icarus. 
Uh, Icarus doesn't require you to download the entire blockchain uh, to use it. So in that sense, it's like a light version. And Hoskinson says in this video, he said that he expects those people who have had trouble with the Daedalus wallet, um, those people, the new Icarus wallet will be a much better alternative and give people a much better user experience. So that's always good. I have seen a few of you mention in the comments that Daedalus gives you trouble. And it's actually going to be as easy as a one-click installation from the Chrome Web Store. I don't know if you guys use Chrome, but I do, and installing their uh, their extensions incredibly easy. So let's talk security. They, they said it's a light wallet. Is it still going to be secure? And the answer is yes, apparently it is. It has been fully audited and fully secured, and Hoskinson even said that they have had mobile slash browser wallets on their radar for a while now but not until Icarus has there been an option that offered the necessary safety and security that they needed to release something like this. Interesting stuff, huh? Well, let's talk big picture. That's the important thing. What does this mean? I mean, why did they create Icarus? But even more than that, what does this mean big picture? And actually, in this video, Hoskinson said that the reason they created Icarus um, was because they wanted to have a reference design for people who wanted to do mobile wallets and browser-based wallets. So let's clear this up because you understand this, right? Icarus, it's a white label design. So Cardano's partners or third-party affiliates will be able to use Icarus to build their own branded wallets off of. And this is, you know, a little confusing at first, but actually this is really good. And I think we, we need this because this will set a certain standard of security and a certain standard for user experience for third parties and merchants who want to develop and start accepting ADA, right? So this is, this is much more than just a new wallet. This is much more than just a Chrome extension. The bigger picture here is that this development, this gets Cardano one step closer to creating an ecosystem or even many ecosystems based around Cardano and based around people accepting ADA. So over the next six months, over the next year, over the next couple years, people will be able to use Icarus to build their own experience, to build their own ways of accepting and storing ADA and, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now. If the goal of Cardano is to help bank the unbanked, if the goal of Cardano is to get merchant adoption, it's through Icarus and through this open sourced, you know, web based wallet that, you know, adoption is going to happen, I think. And also, this actually goes hand in hand with another announcement that Cardano made in the same video where um, they said Cardano is going to start opening up the Cardano project to third party contributors, which is pretty big. And the hope is that merchants use Icarus to start getting ADA adoption and third party applications get created that accept ADA. And who, who knows, you know, in the next few years, could we see more merchants um, accepting ADA or more payment gateways online popping up? I think that might be the case. And by the way, guys, how did I find out about this information? You know, I subscribe to uh, Charles Hoskins YouTube channel. I think that's one of the best ways to get information on Cardano. Um, I follow Charles Hoskinson and IOHK and the Cardano project on Twitter. Um, I think that's a great way to, uh, you know, stay up to date. I, in fact, I think if you're invested in cryptocurrency, probably every single project that you want to keep on your radar, you better follow them on Twitter. And uh, actually, if you wanted to subscribe to us or follow us on Twitter, our Twitter is at altcoindailyio. But anyways, let's get into, uh, let's talk price of Cardano real quick, because you know, ever since Cardano fell to 14-ish cents, I thought Cardano was at a good buying opportunity. And now we're even lower. Now we're at 9 cents. So the question is, is, um, I mean, is this a good time to get into Cardano? Well, I guess in the last speaking since the beginning of the year, this is one of the best times to get in. But of course, we have no idea what's going to happen uh, in the coming months because Cardano is actually known for being slow but steady with their progress. Um, I'm a big believer in Cardano. I think um, when I watch this guy on YouTube, I think, you know, you look back in the 80s and 90s and see Steve Jobs giving presentations. And at the time, nobody except, you know, computer nerds really cared about that stuff. But now we look back and we see that, wow, Steve Jobs truly had a vision. He truly had a sense of what the company could be and what the products could be. And he ended up taking the company to wild success. And I think I can see similar things happening for Charles Hoskinson and uh, Cardano, because I think this guy's a rock star. 
But anyway, I'm not here telling you to invest in Cardano. Um, I'm just here to tell you I think Cardano is a good long-term project. And yeah, make your own decisions. I think if we can get up to a trillion dollar market cap, I can see Cardano getting above a dollar, uh, which would be a 10x. Cardano's all-time highs when the whole market was getting pumped unsustainably was uh, $1.30. So yeah, I could definitely see Cardano getting up above a dollar, especially with stuff like the Icarus project. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else about Cardano you want to mention uh, so we can all get informed together. Anyways, thank you very much. See you tomorrow.